Yes, Rapid NGS is certainly cost effective, but it can be a little hard to appreciate that. When we think about the costs of NGS, we, we often get stuck on the costs of a next generation gene sequencer. And these can range anywhere from $50,000 to over a million dollars. And then we can often focus on the, the cost of the consumables, like the little plastics and chemicals that make these machines go. But in my experience, the human resources required to run these instruments is actually one of the biggest costs that we face. So these are the pathologists in your lab, but more importantly, the technologists who, who actually run this technology and produce the results. When you use a rapid NGS, these, these techniques are largely automated. There's a lot of robotics that is replacing steps that used to be done manually. And so when we move to a rapid technique, we're not only making these results come out faster, but we're really paring down the amount of human resources that are required in order to produce that NGS result. So there's a lot of cost savings there for the laboratory. But another thing we need to do is take a step back and not look at costs just in the laboratory. Cancer is a health systems issue. So introducing this within the lab can produce a lot of cost savings in the oncology clinic, but also in the pharmacies. We know that getting on the correct treatment right away is essential. And if we have to refine that by switching therapies after biomarker results show up late, there's a huge cost associated with that. In addition, simply having those oncologist patient interactions, being productive and not requiring second appointments or return visits produces another huge cost saving uh, for the healthcare system as a whole.